Welcome to Tech Leveler, I'm Lee, and in this super quick video I'm going to show you how to fix a slow performance issue after updates on Windows 11 or 10 PC. Now, a very common issue on Windows 11 and 10 is that your PC goes really slow after updates. Now I'm going to show you a few different things what you can carry out, and after you've carried each and every one of them, I recommend that you do them all, one after the other, you should notice a noticeable improvement in your speed of your Windows 10 or 11. So first things first, let's go to this PC. Now we're in this PC, let's go to the C drive or whichever drive your Windows 11 or 10 PC is installed on. Then we want to select Windows. Now we want to highlight any of the files and press S. We want to find a software distribution here and double click into that. Then you want to press any of the files to highlight it. Then we can press Ctrl and A to highlight all the files. Now what these are, are all the downloaded updates that you've previously downloaded and that they've installed. So we no longer need these. So we can easily delete them. So let's press the delete here. It doesn't matter if it doesn't delete everything, you can just press skip. So once we've done that first issue, let's right click on the start menu and select run. Now we need to type out clean MGR. Then press enter. This will bring up the disk clean. It'll start sorting the files, what it needs to clean up here in your C drive. As you can see, mine is taking some time as I have a lot of junk. Once it's assessed everything, it'll bring up this window here and we can select everything here. See, you can see Windows Update Cleanup. It's taking 2.25 gigabyte. So we can select all this here. We can select everything in here as it is just temporary files. You can see I'm going to say 4.7 gigabyte. So all these things have just been created by the computer and not by you. And as they're only temporary, they're not needed. So let's press OK. Press delete files. Again, depending how much and how big these files are, will depend on how quick it all takes to delete. Also, how fast your computer is will have a bearing on how quick this is done. So while that's doing that, we can go on to our next task, which is right click on the start menu. Coming up to task manager, selecting that. Then once task manager loads, select start up here. And here you want to select the status. And you can see we have these things here enabled. And what you want to do is leave all security things on. Because this is everything what is starting up on startup. So say you don't want Microsoft Edge. As you can see, this has a high impact on startup. So this will slow your PC down. You can right click it and disable it. You see, anything else. So Microsoft OneDrive, if you don't use that, it has a high impact. Right click, disable. Now this isn't deleting the program or anything like that. It's just stopping it starting on startup. So the least items you have on startup, the quicker it will be and the quicker your PC will be. So always keep in mind, you don't want to disable anything that you may need to use on startup. So like graphics and security and anything like that. Even your Wi-Fi, don't take any of that off on startup. You do need them. Now, Sometimes when we update, so now we've done that, we can exit this away. I can see my disk cleanup is still going on in the background. My PC, what I'm doing these screen recordings on, is a little slow, so it is taking a while. So the next step we can go on to is come into the search box here and select and type out CMD. And here you want to right click on command prompt and run as administrator. Now, the reason we're doing this is that sometimes 
when Windows update, sometimes it gets corrupted. So what we can do, we can repair that. And we need to do that through the command prompt. Now what we need to type is SFC space forward slash scan now. Now, this may take five, 10 minutes, maybe even longer. Now I have a slow PC, so it would take a long while, so I won't go through that now. However, this will scan the computer and tell you any fixes that need to be done. But once it is done, restart your computer, then move on to the final step. Now we want to go to the search box here again and type out troubleshoot. It should auto populate after typing T O R U. And let's go into troubleshoot here as best match. Then we want to go to other troubleshooters here at the bottom. Then we want to find this Windows update here at the bottom and we want to select run. Now this will detect any problems that Windows updates has done to your PC, either Windows 11 or 10. Again, it may take some time. Let the process run. And once it, and what will happen here, once it's checked everything, if it finds any problems, it will fix them in this Windows update troubleshoot section. Once it's done it, restart your computer and everything should be running fine. So they're the processes that I'd go through one by one, checking the speed after each one. As you can see, it's telling me here that I have a problem. So press next. It'll try solving the problem for me. Don't forget, you will need to restart your PC. You see here, it's found two problems. Now, don't forget, at this stage, you need to restart your computer. And hopefully, that fixes a slow performing issue after updates on Windows 11 or 10 PC. If you found this video helpful, don't forget, smash that like and hit that subscribe button if you want to see many more videos like this one. Thanks for watching.